I don't even know what happened. I can't even say that, can I? I knew what I was doing. It just felt so nice, like her lips and her. Yeah, I know, I should have just went home. But I thought it would be so calm, like, I even slept on the floor. God, please just forgive me. Like, I'm sorry, man. I remember what Pastor said now. The spirit is on it, but the flesh is a pagan. George! Oh, yeah, and forgive Angela too, yeah. Please. George, your dad's on the phone! Hello? Why are you answering my phone? Because he just called you. Yeah, but why are you answering my phone? Because he was just calling you. He was just about to miss it. Is this your phone? No, it's your so, phone. So, so, why are you picking up? All right, well, there's no need to be that angry. I just picked up. I'm not angry. I'm just being mad blunt. Just don't touch my phone. All right, then fine then. I won't do it again. No, yo, yo, chill. So, George, I knew you could hear me last night. So wait, no, where are you going? And I knew you'd choose to do your own thing. But I'm glad we're speaking now. Because, you know, sometimes when you make a mistake, you just don't want to speak anymore. That's what sin does. That's what guilt does. It tries to separate us. It stops you from wanting to speak, from wanting to communicate. But nothing can stop us from speaking. Nothing can separate us. And you're right. What you said about your flesh, this will be a daily battle that you have to constantly overcome. You asked me to forgive Angela because you love her, right? And for years, I've been wanting you to forgive your dad because I love him too. I know he got it wrong, but can you show me someone who's got it right?